One of the subscribers asked the uh, weight of the uh, HD Zero Discus all up weight with the battery and everything. So with a 3S650, we're looking at, and this is 3.5 inch props. The all up weight is 170 grams. So we're gonna be looking at this flying today. I'm gonna do a little voiceover of like one of the first flights and then a little uh, cut with music, so let's go. Also, if you wanna ask me anything, go for it. You can ask me anything in the comments and I'll respond to you either in the comments or I'll stick it in the video. Your participation is always appreciated. Okay, so here we go. And uh, every time I fly my HT0, I'm using the Fat Shark VRX and I have to take it out of the 540-90 mode. If not, it just flies like poop and accidents happen. So we gotta go into the regular mode, and away we go. We're starting off with a few accidents, why not keep it interesting? It was a few packs that it took to get used to flying the 3S, cause I'm just used to flying the 4S and a bit more weight. So this is like turned on a dime, totally locked in, but it just doesn't fall quickly, so you have like more time to do all the flips and stuff you want. I actually think I'll enjoy this quad a lot more when I put a naked GoPro on it, which will add about 35 grams of weight, giving it a little bit more something to throw around because it is like you can do so much, you can spin so many times before you hit the ground. So once you get used to this, it's really actually kind of fun. It's like a different style of flying compared to the weight and the power. It still has tons of power, but it's kind of like if you full throttle, it's like light total shake. But just being able to just have something nimble that you can really control and it has kind of like more than what's needed. So it's actually really fun to take this drone and kind of try and fly it slow. And by the end of the video, you'll see like on the last pack, I'm starting to feel more comfortable with it. And I'm kind of like, like I keep trying to get these tree dives and 
figure out where the gaps are and trying to remember them so I can keep doing them smoother and having fun. But later on in the last pack, you'll see, I started doing this thing where it was like, do a turn around a tree and then do a flip, like, do a little loop around a tree, follow that by a flip or follow it by a spin, and make it like an exercise, because there's like, I don't know, there's like a 7 foot to 8 foot gap in between the ground and the trees, so it's fun to kind of like, practice and doing little tricks within that smaller space, and I think that's a good probably exercise to get you better at throttle control and just controlling your elevation. Because once you get used to timing, it's it's interesting. It's like, I don't know if any of you guys used to play Street Fighter, but Street Fighter and like the original Smash Bros, it was all timing. So you start learning your timing and your combos and start connecting them and everything gets better. Same thing with FPV. You learn the timing that it takes to spin, how long it takes for your drone to fall, and then you can do some wicked awesome combos. It's funny how 